friends! Welcome back. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. And next week in your packet, you're going to find that you will be learning some simple addition. So we wanted to show you on our number line here kind of what that's going to look like. So we're going to start out by putting 1 through 20 in our number line. So you count along with us now. Okay, we have 1, 2, tells me to start at three. So I'm going to write this out for you. So start at three. Move forward six. So I'm going to go three plus six. And we're going to find out the answer to that. So I'm going to start my frog on three. And I'm going to move forward six. So I'm going to move forward. So I don't want to move this way because that would be backwards. I want to move this way. That would be forward. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six. So that tells me that three plus six equals nine. So I'm going to put my nine right here. Okay. Okay. And mine tells me that I'm going to start at number 11. So I'll put my frog on number 11. And it says move forward eight. So I'm going to add eight to 11. And let's see what we get. So I'll take my frog that's on 11. Let's count with me to see what we get. We're going to add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 11 plus eight equals 19. Wow. Okay, moving right along. My, it, mine is telling me to start at 5. So I'm going to start at 5, so I'm going to make my 5 here. Whoops. Okay, and it says move forward, ooh, 10, that's a lot. So I'm going to make my plus sign and put my 10 we're going to find out where that puts us. I'm starting at 5, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this tells me starting at 5, adding 10 puts me at what number? That's right. It equals 15. Okay, Miss Jennifer. Okay, my next one tells me to start at 14. So we'll put 14 down here. 14 plus, let's see what it says. 14 plus 4. It says move forward 4. So 14 plus 4 equals, let's see, let's get the frog hopping. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 14 plus 4 equals 18. 18. Good job. Very good. Okay. My, ne my next one says start at 9. So we're going to start with number 9. Ooh, my pin is giving me trouble today. Let me try this again. Sorry. Okay. Start at 9. There's my 9. And we're going to add our plus side. Move forward three. So I'm going to start my frog on nine. 
And I'm going to move forward three. One, two, three. So put my three here. That is telling me nine plus three. Started with nine, went three spaces forward, equals 12. Boys and girls, are you noticing that when you're doing adding or addition, you're always going to come up with a larger number, a bigger number, right? You started at 9, you added 3, and you got 12. 12 is larger than 9. That's correct. Oh. Okay, so now my frog is going to start at number 17. Let's see what they want me to do. 17, and this says move forward so it's going to be 17 plus 2. So I'll take my frog, start at 17, and we're going to go up to 1, 2. 17 plus 2 equals 19. Isn't this fun? That was fun. You can make yourself a number line and just try to do that. Start at any number and add whatever number you want and see what you come up with. It's kind of fun. It is fun. And we'll be doing more on this next week. But right now, we have a story. Because boys and girls, we have a little secret to tell you. It's a secret. It's our secret. Sunday, it's Mother's Day. So, what we're going to do is we're going to read a story about mothers. And it's called my mom is fantastic and i want you to listen to this story when you hear something that reminds you of your mother i want you to put your hand in the air i know we can't see you but i want you to put your hand in the air okay it'll make you think about your mom okay my mom is fantastic is the name of this book and the author is nick butterworth hmm. that's a cute last name yeah okay my mom is fantastic. So if your mom is fantastic, your hand better be up in the air. She's a brilliant artist. Can your mom paint or draw very well? And she can balance on a tightrope. Oh my goodness. I don't think my mom could do that. I know my mom could do that. And she can fix anything. Moms are good fixers, that's for sure. And she tells the most exciting stories. I'm putting my hand up. My mom was a great yeah. storyteller. She used to really get into it. And, she, and she's a fantastic gardener. I know Jonathan's mom is a fantastic gardener and so is Noah's mom. <laughs> And she can swim like a fish. My mom did not know how to swim. <laughs> My mom didn't like swimming either. And she can do amazing stunts on a bike. I'd like to know if any of your moms could do stunts on bikes. And she can knit anything. Oh my goodness, look at this mommy. She knitted a spacesuit. <laughs> And she can tame wild animals. Whoa. When my mother had seven children, we were wild, I'll tell you that. We had four, so. <laughs> and she makes the best parties in the world. Mamas are good at parties. I'll bet a lot of hands are in the air on that one. It's great to have a mom like mine. She's, She's fantastic. fantastic. And I hope all of your hands are in the air on that one. So just remember, on Sunday, give your mom lots of extra special loves, okay? Be kind to her. It's her special day. And we'll see you next week, kids. Thanks Bye -bye. for joining us.